Guys, I have reviewed some of the Codecademy courses. And now I want to talk about learning programs and courses that, in my opinion, are the best. In this video I am going to give you a quick overview of each course or course series. Breaking down what they cover and how they are set up. And by the way, I will leave all course related links in the description down below. So feel free to check them out, you might find some discounts there. Alright, let's start. Full Stack Engineer Career Pass. And number one on this list is this great career pass. It's been quite popular with Scott Academy students. Course Overview Let me start by explaining what the Code Academy Career Pass is. It's a comparatively new thing on the platform. So basically, Career Pass on Code Academy are comprehensive learning programs similar to certificates and specializations on Coursera. They are like your roadmap to starting a new career. This career pass, designed by Code Academy's team of experts, and include a bunch of stuff. They are courses, projects, preparation for technical interviews, and more. It's basically everything you need to get yourself ready for entry-level jobs in the career you are aiming for. So what is this career pass about? Well, this program is like your all-in-one package to learn how to build and launch web applications using both front-end and back-end technologies. That's why it's got 10 courses that covers all the essentials. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, SQL, Node.js and more. Basically everything you need to know for web development. But what seems especially interesting to me is that you also get multiple portfolio projects. These are real-world scenarios where you can apply what you have learned. So by the end of it you will have the skills and expertise to dive into the world of web development. Also, because it's a big comprehensive program, it will take you a long time to complete. The Full Stack Engineer Career Pass is designed for 6 months of learning. But guys, don't let that scare you off. It's super beginner friendly and you can feel free to enroll even if you have zero experience. Some basic understanding of programming might be helpful, but it's not required. Structure and content Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy the content I make, that's all. So, like I said, this is a massive program, designed for about 150 hours of learning. By the way, there are no strict timeframes here, that's why you can take it at your own pace. 150 hours is just an average value based on combined completion rates. Structure And just so you have some idea about how big it is, they are 51 units or modules starting from front-end, 162 lessons, 97 projects, including 3 big portfolio ready projects, and 141 quizzes. From what I was able to see, there is a lot of theory here. But don't worry guys, this career pass will make you work hard on a lot of practical tasks. And there is awesome, because as I always say, there is no better way to learn than to learn by doing. And I have to say, it's great to see that the learning program lets you put your skills to the test like this. If you have done this before, you know, it gives you a huge sense of accomplishments. So overall a solid program with a good balance of learning and hands-on practice. Content. Ok, let's look at what these modules include. Once you have got your development environment all set up, you will jump into some front-end modules. JavaScript syntax. This is the bread and butter of web development, where you will learn how to make your website interactive. Git and GitHub. These tools are essential for collaborating with others and managing your code. Web development fundamentals. This covers the basics you need to know for creating website, from HTML to how to structure your code, improving styling with CSS. Dive deeper into CSS to make your website look awesome and polished. Building interactive websites with JavaScript. Here you will learn how to take your website to the next level by adding interactivity using JavaScript. Making a website responsive and accessible. This is all about making sure your websites work well on all devices and are accessible to everyone, including those with disabilities. And folks, there is more where that come from. These are just a taste of the modules you will tackle in this program. After that you will dive into some backend concepts. Backend and future testing. This is where you will learn how to test your backend code to make sure everything is working as it should. Designing relational databases. Learn about how to structure your databases so your data is organized and efficient. 
SQL for backend development. SQL is the language used to work with databases. And here you will master it for your backend work. Build a backend with Node and Express.js. Get ready to build your very own backend using Node.js and Express.js popular frameworks for web development. PostgreSQL database. This is a powerful open source database system that you will learn to use in your projects. And there is a whole lot more to explore in this part of the program. These are just a few of the exciting topics you will be diving into. Alright, and now it's time to connect the front end to the back end. In this part of the career path, you will going to master some key elements. Soft skills. There are the people skills that are super important in the workplace. Think, communication, teamwork and problem solving. JavaScript algorithms. Dive into the world of algorithms, which are basically step-by-step -step solutions to problems. Whiteboard interviews. Get ready for those no racking but crucial interviews where you solve problems on a whiteboard. Real-world interview problems. Practice solving real-world problems that you might encounter in job interviews. And that's just a few of the things you will learn here. As you can see, guys, there is a lot to work on here. And honestly, there is some solid content here. That's why if you are someone who wants to learn full-stack development, this might be a good choice for you. Alright, moving on to the next one. Front-end engineer career pass. And this is another web development career pass. Let's talk about it. Overview. Ok, career paths on Codecademy are comprehensive learning programs. Basically, they are designed to take you from zero to an entry-level position. And if you are familiar with Coursera specializations and certification programs, you know what I mean. This is a beginner-friendly course series, so you really don't need to have any experience at all to enroll. However, some basic understanding of programming might be really helpful. But don't worry, guys, in this case it's not a must, and you can learn all the things as you go. Maybe use some extra resources to figure some things out. By the way, there are lots of resources available on Codecademy. So you don't have search all over the internet to find what you need. And this is super convenient. So let's look at the things you are going to learn here. Building cool static websites using HTML and CSS. Making those websites come to life with interactive features using JavaScript. Adding some style to your web pages with basic design theory. Getting comfortable with the command line, a powerful tool for developers. Managing your code versions like a pro with Git. Collaborating smoothly with your team using GitHub. Leveling up to build web apps with React and Redux. Writing tests to make sure everything works smoothly across different browsers. Understanding search engine optimization to get your sites noticed. And of course, that's not all. There is much more good stuff here, folks. I would say this looks like some solid knowledge you will definitely need as a front-end developer. And it gets quite heads-on too, which I am always happy to see. Structure and content Ok, let's dive a bit deeper and see what this core series offers in terms of content. So, there are 34 units or courses in this program. They include 124 lessons, 77 projects and 102 quizzes. In each lesson you are going to find all sorts of helpful stuff to make learning fun and easy. And I mean there are tutorials to guide you, interactive text to keep you engaged, visuals to help you understand, exercises to practice what you are learning, and quizzes to test your skills. Plus, some lessons even have videos to really bring it all to life. It's like having a super cool teacher right there with you every step on the way. The content here can be roughly divided into three parts – HTML and CSS, JavaScript and React. And for each of these parts you will do an interesting portfolio project. Alright, now let's take a look at some of these projects in a bit more detail. Fashion blog. And in this project, your friend Isa, who is a fashion blogger, wants you to hook her up with a cool website. And as it happens, she wants you to do that before New York Fashion Week starts. So you know you have to put that HTML know-how to work. And you will start by building the basic structure of the blog. After that, you will throw in lots of necessary stuff like pictures, links, lists and all those HTML elements you have been learning. Wine Festival Schedule and in this case you will be creating a web page for a family that is putting on their annual wine festival. What you will have to do is use some HTML magic to make a proper table for all the attendees. This table will lay out the schedule so everyone knows what's happening and when. New York City Blog 
Here you will be creating a blog all about the Big Apple, the New York City. You are going to showcase just how amazing New York City is, from the skyscrapers to the pizza joints, and everything in between. And for me, this sounds pretty interesting. But of course, there are just a few projects and like I said, there are thousands of other ones to explore here. Honestly, it's great to see that you will get into all the practical tasks at every step. And folks, there is one thing I also really like about this career pass. It lets you work on some interview skills. In this section, you will dive into some key stuff for acting those tech interviews. Whiteboard interviews where you solve problems on the spot, JavaScript algorithms to get your brain in gear, soft skills, and real-world interview issues and how to solve them. Guys, based on my experience, this is something that will really come in handy when you start looking for a job. So it's great to see this kind of content here. And I wish other learning programs included this too. Ok, folks, let's see what we have got under number 3. Backend Engineer Career Pass. And this career pass is all about web development too. Overview. The Backend Engineer Career Pass is a comprehensive core series. This means that it starts from the very basics of backend web development and takes you all the way to the place where you can apply for entry-level job position. In other words, this learning program is something that will require a lot of time and effort. So you must be prepared for that beforehand, my friends. Folks, here you will dive into all the backend topics I will talk more about later like databases, servers, APIs and data security. Also, you will take some front-end courses along the way. Why? Because to be really good at the backend engineering, you have to understand how the front-end works too. It's like having the full picture of how websites and apps come to life. And here are some things you will get to learn here. Setting up your very own development environment. So, you are all set to start coding like a pro, using Git and GitHub to keep track of your work and collaborate with others, writing JavaScript code for both the client side and the server side, building powerful backends using Node.js and Express, designing and creating PostgreSQL databases to store all the important data, understanding important principles like OOP or object-oriented programming, keys, keep it simple stupid, Yagni, you ain't gonna need it, and dry, don't repeat yourself. And preparing for a JavaScript whiteboard interview. Yes, you will be getting to pass those tough tech interviews. Actually, there is even more packed into this career pass. So, if you are ready to level up your backend skills and become a coding ninja, this is the path for you. Moreover, this course series is totally beginner-friendly. So, even if you have never tried coding before, you are welcome to jump right in. Now, I have to say, folks, having a bit of programming know-how could be handy. But don't stress it, you are starting from scratch. You will pick up everything as you go alone. Besides, if there is something you are stuck on, no worries. There are plenty of extra resources right on Codecademy to help you out. It's all right here, super convenient and ready for you to dive into. And I think that's awesome and saves you a lot of time. Structure and content. Alright, let's see what you can find here in terms of content. Like I said, there is a big comprehensive course series. There are 41 courses, 122 lessons, 60 projects and 109 quizzes. And what's especially great about it is that among those 60 projects, you will also get to do 5 portfolio projects. After all, there is just no other way to learn backend than to learn by doing. And here is another interesting thing about it. Besides the awesome stuff you will be learning on Codecademy, you will also get some hand-picked content from other places. These extra resources are like little boosts that reinforce what you are learning in the career pass. So, if you ever feel like you want to dive deeper into one topic or another, these curated materials have got your back. Alright, let's break down what you will be diving into with the Backend Engineer course, Software Engineering Foundations. This is where it all begins. Learn JavaScript, the basics of building a website, Git and GitHub, and setting up your local environment. Backend development. Learn the fundamentals of backend development. Asynchronous JavaScript, HTTP requests, Express and more about Git and GitHub. Advanced backend development. Learn about SQL, PostgreSQL, databases, server connection, test-driven development, software development principles, and code documentation, security, infrastructure and scalability. 
learn how to protect your app by adding security measures, setting up infrastructure and scaling it up, interview preparation, learn about linear data structures, complex data structures and algorithms, also learn about what you can expect at a tech interview and other important interview skills. You will be tackling all of these with interactive text, videos, tutorials and a cool embedded code editor. And guys, it's like having your own personal coding playground to explore and learn. Alright, now let's talk about number 4. Computer Science Career Path. And this is another career path, but it's different from the previous ones. It's more of an introduction than a comprehensive learning program. But let's talk about it in a more detail. Overview. Ok, as you work your way through this path, you will be building up your skills in programming, understanding the fundamentals of computer science and sharpening your problem-solving abilities. It's like unlocking the secrets of the digital world one lesson at a time. As far as career paths on Codecademy go, this one isn't too big. No surprise here, it's designed as introductory course series. So, unlike front-end or back-end career paths, it's not supposed to get you to the point where you can look for an entry-level job. It just opens the door to computer science for you, so you could choose which way to go later. And because this is an introductory program, you don't have to have any experience in coding or programming at all. You will learn all the basics you need here. So what will you learn in computer science career path? Well, guys, this beginner-friendly program is all about teaching you some cool skills. And here they are. Programming with Python. Python is like the Swiss army knife of programming languages. And you will get a pretty solid knowledge of this language. Building data structures. Ever wondered how to organize and store data effectively? You will learn all about that with data structures. Navigating databases. Get ready to dive into the world of databases. Where you will learn how to work with all the juicy data using discrete math. These guys might sound a bit fancy, but it's all about using math to solve real-world problems in computer science. And the best part is you will be putting all these skills to use by building real-world projects. Honestly, it's great to see that even a small introductory course series like this gets quite practical. Structure and content. Alright, so unlike some big career paths that I reviewed earlier, this one only has 6 courses included. By the way, if you are interested in learning about other career paths on Codecademy, check out those videos on my channel. Anyway, here are the courses included in the Computer Science Career Path. CS100 – Getting started with the Computer Science Career Path. Kickstart your coding life as you learn all about the programming language Python. And the techniques using when writing it. CS101 – Introduction to Programming Keep going with Python and learn about its built-in data structures. CS102 – Data Structures and Algorithms Learn about virtualizing of computer memory by building the fundamental data structures of computer science. Lists, stacks and queues. CS103 – Databases Learn how data is stored using PostgreSQL, a popular relational database management system. CS 104 – Computer Architecture Learn about the rules, organization of components and processes that allow computers to process instructions. CS 105 – Discrete Math Learn about discrete math, the math of computer science. These courses include 82 lessons, 36 projects and 70 quizzes. So, as you can see, folks, despite the fact that it's a small course series, there is quite some solid content to work on. It might be an introductory program, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't work hard. And make no mistake, guys, in these courses you won't just be learning. You will be diving into quizzes, challenges and projects that will put your new knowledge to the test. These hands-on tasks are like little checkpoints to see how well you are doing and where you can improve. Plus, you will be creating portfolio projects along the way. This will be really helpful later when it comes to job hunting. They will showcase your abilities and what you are capable of in the real world of computer science. Learn Python 3 Yes, I know, guys, number 5 stands out because it's a course, not a career path. But I still think that it belongs on its list. First, because it also offers some solid content and second, because it's probably the most popular course on the platform. Course Overview Currently, Codecademy has over 100 Python-related courses, career paths and skill paths. But none of them is as popular as Learn Python 3 course. 
So what is it about? Well guys, it's like your gateway to learn all the basics of Python 3 and trust me, it's a game changer. In this course you will dive into everything from Python syntax to control flow, boolean variables and logical operators. Now if you go to the course page on Codecademy, you will see that it takes only 25 hours to complete. And I know it might not seem like a lot, but this course will actually make you invest a lot of effort in your learning. Another thing to note here is it's a beginner-friendly course. However, it's not for complete newbies folks. Because you will actually have to come prepared with some solid understanding of programming concepts. So keep that in mind people. By the way, here is a fun fact. Employees at big companies like IBM and NASA have taken this course. That's why you know you are in good company with this one folks. Course content. Alright, and now let's see what this course's structure and content really looks like. The Learn Python 3 course includes 13 lessons, 12 projects and 12 quizzes. And here are the lessons. Hello world! Get started with Python syntax in this lesson. And then create a point of sale system for a furniture store. Control flow. Learn how to build control flow into your Python code by including if, else and elif statements. Expect to learn all you need to know about boolean variables and logical operators. Lists. Learn about lists, a data structure in Python used to store ordered groups of data. Loops. Loops are structures that let you repeat Python code over and over. Learn how to read loops and write them to solve your own problems. Functions. Learn about code reuse with Python functions. Apply that knowledge to create functions for famous physical formulas. Python code challenges. This is optional code challenge to test your Python knowledge. Strings. Learn all about the Python string object. Figure out how to automatically create, rearrange, reassign, disassemble and reassemble blocks of text. Modules. Learn how modules work in the Python programming language. Dictionaries. Learn all about the Python dictionary structure and how to create and use key value pairs in your code. Files. Learn how to work with files in an automated way. Investigate the properties of text, CSV and JSON files by reading and writing to them. Classes. Learn about the differences between data types in Python and how to create your own classes, objects and interfaces. Python code challenges too. This is one more block with additional code challenges. And finally, next steps. If you can see guys, there are two optional code challenges included here that you can take. You can successfully complete this course without them. But even despite the fact these challenges are not mandatory, I would highly recommend taking them guys. When it comes to learning Python coding or any kind of coding, I think you should use every opportunity to practice. Also, there are portfolio projects that this course offers. But keep in mind that you can only get access to them if you have a pro account. And just so you have an idea of what they are like, here is what these projects are about. Receipts for lovely love seats. Store names and prices of furniture items in variables. Calculate the total price and customer's item list and print them to the output terminal. Block letters. Display your initials on the screen in block letters and create an ASCII art. Getting ready for physics class. And in this one you get to be a physics teacher. You are going to create some functions that will help your students calculate fundamental physical properties. By the way, here is something that makes learning Python on Concademy more fun and practical than everywhere else. With almost one project for every module, you are not just learning theory. You are building real stuff. And here is how it works. They lay out the goal of the project and give you some starting code to kick things off. You get to dive into their integrated code editor and craft your own solution. In case you have some issues and feel like you cannot make any progress, no worries. There is a get unstuck section with video walkthrough of the entire project. And I have to say, I love this a lot. Because instead of just learning individual concepts, you are actually creating something real. Alright folks, let's see what the next one is about. Learn JavaScript. This is by far the most popular JavaScript course on Codecademy. With almost 3 million students enrolled, it's a definite favorite among the platform users. I think that one of the reasons why it's so popular is that this course is perfect for complete beginners. 
You can confidently enroll even if you have zero knowledge of JavaScript coding. It's designed for those who want to die into the basics of JavaScript programming. What you will get here is a solid foundation in coding principles. And this means it would be a great basis to build on. From here it will be easier to move on to more advanced topics. What will you learn? You will start simple with some JavaScript basics like variables, conditionals, functions and scope. After that you will move to arrays, loops, iterators and objects. So, as you can see, this is really some basic stuff. But make no mistakes, folks. These things will be incredibly important on your way forward. What's cool about Codecademy is their interactive learning environment. You will get heads-on experience with practical exercises and real-world projects. This means you will be building stuff right alongside the lessons, which is a great way to learn. By the end of this course you will have the skills and knowledge to create web applications and build interactive user experiences. What's special about it? And there is another awesome thing about this course. It's free. I mean, if you want to get a certificate of completion, you will have to get the Codecademy Pro subscription. But if it doesn't matter much to you, feel free to sign up and enroll. Alright guys, let's move on to the next course. Learn Intermediate JavaScript. And this course is the next step after the Learn JavaScript course. It's designed for intermediate learners. So, keep that in mind, folks, you have to come prepared for this course. The Learn Intermediate JavaScript course is all about taking your JavaScript skills to the next level. Once you're done with it, you will know how to use JavaScript in bigger and more complex web applications. And I'm talking about concepts like classes, promises, async await and requests. These are the building blocks for creating awesome and interactive web apps that do some pretty cool stuff. What will you learn? Ok, you will start with classes, modules and also learn about promises syntax and asynchronous programming. After that you will learn all about JavaScript errors and how to handle them. Next you will move on to more advanced concepts like green, hosting, concurrency, memory management and debugging memory issues. Finally, you will learn about JavaScript best practices and design patterns. But don't think it's all about theory, because you will also do quizzes. And on top of that, there are also 5 projects you will work on as your progress through the course. By the time you finish, you will have a much better grasp of how JavaScript works in your web browser. You will dive into all the details, so you will really understand what's going on under the hood. Done and done. Plus, you will learn some key techniques for structuring big web apps using classes and modules. And guys, this is really important, because it helps keep your code organized and easy to manage as your projects get more complex. What's special about it? I think this course is a great next step to your JavaScript mastery. Besides, just like Learn JavaScript, it's free. You can easily get into it right after signing up and learn when you have time. Create a backend app with JavaScript. Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask to like this video and subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy the content I make. Alright, and this one here is not exactly a course, it's a skill path. Skill path on Codecademy are collections of courses to help you build or improve a specific skill. And this skill path currently has over 40,000 people enrolled. So, as far as Codecademy courses go, it's pretty popular too. The great thing about it is that it's a beginner-friendly program. So, basically, you can enroll without knowing anything about JavaScript or programming too. And it's not long. This skill pass will take you about 8 weeks to complete. What will you learn? So, in this course you are going to dive into a bunch of different things like JavaScript APIs, SQL, Node.js, and more. You will cover the theory behind how these concepts work together, and through heads-on training you will learn how to connect multiple web applications with databases. By the time you finish this JavaScript skill path, you are expected to have a solid understanding of the JavaScript programming language. You will understand its advantages, especially in backend development. And of course, you won't just learn some theory. There are multiple projects here to get into. And that includes two backend development capstone projects. That's where we will build full, persistent CRUD APIs for two different businesses. Now, what does that mean? CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete. So, you will be creating APIs that can do all of the things for the businesses you are working with. What's special about it? 
I think that what makes this skill pass especially great is its focus on hands-on experience. There is just no other way to learn backend development except by practicing guys. Alright, and now let's talk about the last Code Academy JavaScript course on my list. Pass the technical interview with JavaScript. And this is another skill path, a collection of courses designed to help you ace those JavaScript interviews. And by the way, this could be your step too after taking the Learn JavaScript course. So keep it in mind, folks. This skill path isn't for complete beginners. It's designed for those who already have a solid understanding of some JavaScript basics. What will you learn? In this skill path you will learn some advanced coding skills that will really impress potential employers. And what I'm talking about is, is diving deep into data structures and algorithms. They are key topics that will set you apart in the job market. You will also cover more advanced stuff like algorithmic complexity and dynamic programming. These are the kinds of topics that often come up in technical interviews. So, folks, you will get all the tips and tricks to help you ace those interviews with confidence. All in all, your journey through this skill pass will look like this. First, you will get a general idea of data structures and algorithms. Then, you will learn all about building linear data structures, linked lists, queues and stacks. After that, you will move to hash maps for efficient data storage. Next, you will tackle the basics of algorithms, recursive versus iterative patterns and big O notation. Once that's done, you will learn about nonlinear data structures, trees, binary trees and heaps. After that, you will work on storing algorithms, bubble sort, merge sort and quick sort. Next will be graph data structures, creating, traversing and finding path. And finally, you will learn some interview preparation skills, practicing algorithmic problem solving in JavaScript. So by the end of this course, you will have a solid understanding of these concepts, which will boost your coding skills and confidence for your technical interviews. What's special about it? Guys, I think that the answer to this question is pretty obvious. We all know how tricky tech interviews can be. And we all know how important it is to be prepared for them. This skill pass gives you some solid knowledge and skills to get you ready. And I think it's a great opportunity to grab. Alright folks, that wraps up my top 9 courses on Codecademy list. Feel free to check all the links in the description below, you might find some discounts there. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and till next time.